Oh, a little coughing tornado. You look so sophisticated with those glasses off. I'm gonna take him off anyway. I appreciate you reminding me of that. <laughs> I can't see through any, through my binos or anything with my glasses, or I ain't used to it. Um, well, coldest morning of the fall yet. About 41 degrees, and Jay and I are down in southern West Virginia on a glass and scout. And if we see something, we're gonna go after it and see what happens. We haven't been out much, but they're starting to move. It's getting to be, what is it, uh, the 18th? Mid-October. Mid-October. Uh, so more movement starting to happen. We just have to get more time in the field. I've been working a lot and Jay's been working a lot, so we're gonna see if we can uh, find some deer today. Hopefully we see some good ones. <laughs> I've not seen a good deer yet, except on camera. <laughs> Josh is driving and videoing here, so this isn't safe. Don't do this at home, but uh, I spotted a deer, I swear I did. 100% sure it was a deer. I'm pretty sure it's a buck, but now we've lost it, so we're trying to change positions here, see if we can find him again. Been glassing these deer. I saw this. I saw a buck. When we were on the other side. And we lost him. So Josh and I came around to this side so we could see this hillside. And deer just start appearing everywhere. There's two eight points over there that are decent bucks and one scrub. But we've seen probably ten or twelve does down in this bottom. So it's definitely a good spot. I don't think we're gonna go after these deer as far as trying to stalk them but we're all gonna see if we can find some something a little bit bigger God I don't know why you putting it on me right now because you're trying to warm your hands up you always make fun of me about being cold my I'm hands are cold I'm cold like chilled 
and Jay won't let me turn the heat on because he's got 12 layers on. I've got a t-shirt and a sweatshirt. Every time we get in the truck, Josh cranks the heat up and I have to crank the heat back down. It's getting ridiculous. Monster Jay! Mo <laughs> what, a, what a baby he's becoming in his old age. You think that's funny, don't you? I looked. I looked. So, Jay and I have been hunting this morning. We saw a couple decent bucks. Uh, but we've seen a lot of does that we didn't think we'd see very many because we're up here on top on some old reclaimed land. There's not a lot of oaks, but there's a lot of acorns. There's a lot of mass this year. But we're feeling a whole lot better, so we turned it into, a, I mean, we're still hunting, but we're mainly scouting. And we're seeing deer that we didn't see in areas last year and a lot of does, so we're very hopeful when the chasing starts here in a couple of weeks, two or three weeks, probably here in Southern West Virginia. We're gonna know where to go. We're gonna go ahead and check a couple cameras while we're up here, fix those. Uh, check those, got my card reader. And we're gonna glass a couple more areas though before we get out here, because heck, it's, what is it, 9.30? It's, it's almost 10 o'clock and it's still 40 degrees, so the deer's liable to stay on their feet for a little while today. Josh and I are, uh, we're back in a familiar spot from last year. It brings up some bad memories for this old guy, but we, uh, we put a stock on a really nice eight point right here last year and uh, We've actually got a, Josh got a camera up now this year. We're trying to, trying to see if he's still around, but uh, we're gonna start looking for my arrow. I actually took a shot. You didn't see this last year. Uh, this didn't, didn't make the cut because we didn't kill this buck, but uh, we'll actually probably show you right now. Um, but we're gonna look for this arrow and we look for it after I shot last year and couldn't find it. We're gonna see if we can find it now. You was at 50 yards. Yeah, so I took a, it was a long shot. We were, we were up on that ridge right there. Up on that, I don't know if you call that a ridge or a berm or a rock pile. Rock pile. <laughs> <laughs> well, we was up there and uh, the buck was down here. He's pushing these does everywhere. And he was right in this area when I shot. I remember ranging him, it was 50. I think it was 52 to 54 yards, so that arrow should be right in this general area right here. If I remember, Jay, I don't, I don't know if he was past that point. That look, those, was, those little fingers was, going up that pile. I think he was in front of this. I feel like he was going up the hill, right, right in here somewhere, maybe right in there.
there she is. <laughs> Uh, it's clean. No doubt. So, uh, yeah. Well, I'm not shooting these arrows this year. So, uh, if anybody out there is shooting a Victory VAP Elite 350, I got an arrow for you. Just uh, drop a comment and uh, we'll get you hooked up with this arrow. I don't know if they want that arrow right there. Not a lucky one. That's yeah, it's not, a, it's not a very lucky one. Uh, I've got one more at the house. Uh, if, if somebody wants these, I'll send both of them to you. Just uh, just may, just say it in the comments that you want it with your address and I'll ship them to you. Does that mean you're good? When Josh, when Josh does his eyebrows like this, that means go. But we're going to, uh, we're going to head back. We're had a really awesome morning saw a ton of deer uh, several bucks just nothing that we really wanted to go after uh, being middle of October so uh, hopefully you guys like what you're seeing uh, we're hopefully gonna get some more deer content out to you um, if you want to help us out get on our website and check out our sweatshirts we got hoodies we got hats um, stickers decals for you guys to, to buy um, Grab up a bunch of it. it. It's shipped directly from me, so I'll package it up for you. Send it to your, uh, send it to the address, and uh, that'll help us out a ton. So, keep watching, guys. We'll see you on the next episode.